Ren and Stimpy Show revived at Comedy Central. Yes, it's coming back after all these years. Viacom CBS will reinvent the adult animated series for a new era. I'm excited about this. I love Ren and Stimpy uh, back in the day. I would love to see John Kay running this. I know he can't, but let's get into the article before we do. If you want to support my work, collegeofthedead.com. Uh, make sure you check it out. Uh, you can get a copy of... If you want to support my work, check out collegeofthedead.com where you can get a copy of College of the Dead Graduation Day where college costs you an arm and a leg. It's my ongoing zombie apocalypse series. It's book two in an ongoing series. We also have book one available. The new one's going to be College of the Dead Spring Break. That will be very cool. Also, you can go to epicmermaids.com and sign up to be notified when The Mermaids comes out. It's a full-color ongoing series, Game of Thrones with Mermaids. Back to the article. Oh, joy! I had to do that because I love Stimpy. Uh, nearly 25 years after wrapping its run, Red and Stimpy are returning to TV. You idiot! Yeah, I, I don't know. It like, brings me back. It brings me back. Comedy Central has greenlit a reimagined take on the former Nickelodeon Spike adult animated series. I mean, why not? It's got such a history, right? Details are scarce. But the Viacom CBS-owned cable network plans to hire a new creative team for the update, which will be reimagined for a new generation. God only knows what that means. Let's see if they tell us. The series hails from the Nickelodeon Animation Studio. Additional information, including writers and episode count and premiere date, have not been determined. What will be interesting to know is who is going to run this. You know, who's going to be the showrunner, who's going to be the creative vision behind this. Can they write a check big enough to maybe get John K. back involved? You know, it's been a long time, but why not? Just give the guy some money. An updated Ren and Stimpy show marks the latest push into adult animation for Viacom CBS Entertainment and Youth Group President Chris McCarthy. Good for you, Chris. Who also greenlit Darius spinoff Jody, updates of Beavis and Butthead, and Clone High. Both Jody and Beavis and Butthead were picked up for Comedy Central, while new Clone High does not yet have a network attached. I can't believe this Beavis and Butthead returning. I didn't know that. Let's check that out too. But first, we're excited to reinvent this iconic franchise with a new creative team and our partners at the Nickelodeon Animation Studio. McCarthy said, Ren and Stimpy joins our rapidly expanding roster of adult animation, including South Park, Beavis and Butthead, and Clone Eye, as we continue to reimagine our treasure chest of beloved intellectual property for new generations. Everybody has... IP and they have beloved IP. Boy, do they love their intellectual property because there's a lot of money in it if you do it right and you get lucky. All four shows are being produced by Viacom's in-house production studios with Nickelodeon, home to the original Ren and Stimpy, of course, overseeing the new take, while the others are from MTV Studios. McCarthy launched MTV Studios two years with a global, okay, with a goal to monetize the company's vast library and sell to third-party buyers. Okay, so they won't be distributing these shows themselves. That's the plan, at least. With McCarthy now overseeing Comedy Central, MTV, and a slew of other cable brands at the company, he's now turning into the stu turning the studio into a content supplier of its own. All right, good for you. For its part, Comedy Central continues to ramp up its animated offerings with Ren and Stimpy joining Beavis and Butthead, Jody, as well as veteran South Park. Wow, of course. The Cabler is also the home of syndicated repeats of adult animated series, including Bojo, Bojack Horseman. Honestly, never heard of that one. Mike Judge's King of the Hill and Seth MacFarlane's The Cleveland Show. It's worth noting that Judge and co-creator Mc, Greg McDaniels had preliminary conversations with Fox for a revival of King of the Hill in 2017. Okay, interesting. This is McCarthy's latest major programming acquisition for Comedy Central since he took over from former network president Kent Alterman as part of a larger Viacom CBS executive consolidation because they consolidated. Since then, Comedy Central has canceled Alternito with Arturo Castro, which moved to QB, and Lights Without David Spade while renewing its Crank Yankers revival. Yeah, you gotta have Crank Yankers. Wakafina is Nora from Queens, okay, and Tosh, Tosh.0, oh, wow, for Four more seasons. That show's still going. Ren and Stimpy was created by John K. Kirafalski. 
and followed the adventures of Ren, a temperamental chihuahua, and his dim-witted sidekick, Stimpy. The series launched in 1991 as part of Nickelodeon's Nicktoons push that included Rugrats and Doug. While the series became a pop culture phenomenon and cult favorite, the network took heat for the show's adult content and lack of educational value. Imagine if they cared about educational value in cartoons now. Like, <laughs> they could care less. They, just, they want social justice value. Multiple segments were edited to remove references to religion, politics, and alcohol. That's terrible. The original series ran for five seasons in nearly 100 episodes and led to a spinoff geared to more adult audiences. Ren and Stimpy Adult Party Cartoon, which I've never seen, which, I mean, it just it seemed like it's not the real thing, which aired on the former Spike, now Paramount Network. Six episodes were produced as part of the animated programming block, but only three aired. Yeah, it just, it's like it didn't work. Adult, because they kicked John Kay off of um, Ren and Stimpy. And when they did, they just kind of like duplicated his work. But then it was like, eh, it's not the same. And then this spinoff was something that's not the same of something that's not the same. Like, you know, Ren and Stimpy was incredibly iconic and really set the standard in, in a lot of ways. Stuff that we see in cartoons now, stuff that we've seen for the last 20, 25 years uh, were inspired by John Kay's um, vision for how he... He wanted to do intensity and timing in um, his cartoons. Brilliant, brilliant work. Adult animation continues to be a growth genre on broadcast cable and streaming platforms in success. Shows like, okay, in success shows like Rick and Morty repeat well and bring in younger audiences and can also lead to profitable merchandising lines. Licensing. Franchises like Family Guy and Bob's Burgers, for example, are considered to be worth billions. Well, I'm a little shocked. I knew Family Guy was probably worth billions. Bob's Burgers is worth billions? I gotta develop some cartoons. All right, uh, let me finish this uh, video first and then I'm gonna start getting back into, into development. What's more, animated series are able to produce remotely during the yeah health event that, can, that has shut down TV projects. Yeah, so animation has definitely got a home at um, all the streaming outlets, all the... TV and, and, and even film platforms, they're all looking for content now, especially with all the production being uh, slowed down. Uh, and Ren and Stimpy is a classic. And let's check this out. Beavis and Butthead returning with two new seasons and spinoffs at Comedy Central. Creator Mike Judge will oversee the updated series, Very Cool, the original creator, with a plan already in place for spinoffs and specials of the former MTV pop culture phenomenon. The Viacom CBS owned cable network is reviving Beavis and Butthead with a series, m fantastic, with series creator Mike Judge returning to launch and reimagine the franchise as part of a sizable deal that includes a two season order and plans for additional spinoffs and specials. Mike Judge is going to get paid. Judge will return as the show's central driving force. See, that's important central driving force and will write produce and provide voices for both the iconic characters who became pop culture sensations in the early 1990s on comedy central's corporate sibling mtv in the new incarnation beavis and buddy will enter a whole new gen z world with meta themes that are said to be relatable to both new fans who may be unfamiliar with the original series and old we were thrilled to be working with mike judge and the great team at three arts again as we double down on Adult animation at Comedy Central, said Chris McCarthy, who oversees CBS Viacom's entertainment and youth group as president. Beavis and Butthead were defining voice of a generation. Very true. And we can't wait to watch as they navigate this treacherous waters of a world light years from their own. Interesting. How are Beavis and Butthead going to deal with today's world? The new take on the Teenage Couch Potatoes comes less than 10 days after Comedy Central became the home of Jody, the adult animated series that is a spinoff of Daria, which itself was an offshoot of Judge's Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead, like the Tracy Ellis Ross-led Jody, hails from MTV Studios, the in-house division launched two years ago by McCarthy with a goal to monetize the company's vast library and sell to third-party buyers, meaning buyers outside their own network. They're going to produce stuff that's good enough that other people will want to show the shows. With McCarthy now overseeing Comedy Central, MTV, and a slew of other cable brands at the company, he's now turning the studio into a content supplier of its own. Beavis and Butthead originally launched as part of MTV's Liquid Television in 1992 before being turned into a series a year later. 
The show would run between 25 and 50 original episodes a year, though uh, through 1997 before being revived for an eighth season in 2011. A feature film, Beavis and Butthead to America, debuted in 1996 and grossed $63 million domestically on a budget of $12 million. That's pretty good, especially for back then. Judge's unadulterated satirical look at Gen X became a popular cultural phenomenon complete with merchandising lines including comics and multiple video games as well as spin-off uh, Daria and toys and stuff. A lot of stuff was made. The series is known to have been have inspired Trey Parker and Matt Stone to create South Park. I didn't know that. That's fascinating. It seemed like all like the time was right to get stupid again. Well said, Mike Judge. It seemed like the time was right to get stupid again. Quipped uh, judge of Beavis and Butthead's return. Very nice. The deal with Judge marks a homecoming for the prolific comedy creator who launched his career with this series before going on to write and direct features Office Space and Idiocracy, as well as the Fox series King of the Hill and HBO's live action Emmy winning comedy Silicon Valley. Yeah, he is a real talented judge. The Beavis and Butthead Pact is in addition to his rich overall deal with Warner Media backed HBO where he has been based for years. Under that deal, Judge is already working on two series, Quality Land and a limited entry, A5. For its part, Comedy Central continues to ramp up its animated offerings with Beavis and Butthead joining Jody as well as veteran South Park. And now we've heard Ren and Snippy. It's really pretty cool. The Cabler is also the home of syndicated repeats of adult animated series. Uh, okay, BoJack and the Horseman, we covered that already. Uh, this is McCarthy's second major programming acquisition for Comedy Central since he took over from a former network president, Kent Alterman, during the larger Viacom CBS executive consolidation. So, yeah, this is um, interesting. Beavis and Butthead is, uh, definitely was a- incredibly uh, important during the uh, early 1990s and a lot of fun and really, really crazy. What a great addition to their lineup with... Um, Ren and Stimpy. I mean, at, at the least, those two things are, are nuts. Uh, if you want to support my work, go to collegeofthedead.com. Uh, get a copy of College of the Dead Graduation Day. And you can get, um, that's the second one of the series, you can get the first one as well. And it ships immediately because these books have already shipped and they're ready to go. Uh, you can also sign up at epicmermaids.com so you can be notified when The Mermaids comes out. The Mermaids is an epic mermaid fantasy. It's like Game of Thrones with mermaids. 48 pages, full color. You will definitely like it. Uh, make sure you're also subscribed uh, to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Leave me any comments below. Like, did you love Ren and Snippy? Did you love uh, Beavis and Butthead? Did you like them? Uh, do you know the Happy Happy Joy song in Ren and Stimpy? Because they have a link to it right here, which I'm I will play a second of it. That's it. One second. The rest I will not play. Uh, and I will see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.